I've mentioned vessel functions in other videos. Uh, this is a chance to talk about them a little more thoroughly. So one type of vessel function models, an oscillating chain suspended at the top end, just kind of swinging freely under gravity. Um, and it's not that that's the most important application in the world, but this is the one that's easiest to demonstrate in a calc class. So that's what we do. Uh, and then I'll show some other vessel function types later. Um, so let me switch views here. So I have here a classic chain and I'm going to suspend it just from the top, not from the bottom, and I'm going to let it swirl around. And you might ask what uh, mathematical function describes the shape of the chain. You might guess it's maybe a straight line, but it actually has a little bit more curvature on the bottom than at the top. It's also not quite a sine wave. The more fun thing happens when you give it an extra bit of speed, and you can get a point there that's sort of stationary, then it doesn't swing in a wide radius. Um, there we go. And what shape is this taking on? Um, well, it's kind of like a sine wave up here, but down here it's more steeply sloped than the sine wave up here was. So it's not quite a sine wave or cosine wave. If I spun this even faster, I could get a stationary spot here and a stationary spot here. But that's kind of hard to uh, maintain. But fortunately, I found an example in a, a florist shop here in Ypsilanti. Let me show that. So here's a quick web page that shows those three swinging modes. Uh, here there's kind of one wavelength from the top down to here and then another wavelength down here. Mode three has kind of one wavelength from the top down to here, another one from here to there, and then another at the bottom. Um, let's play this video. I don't know if you can see this. There's a link to it in the, uh, in the homework file, but a chain hanging from a fan is uh, oscillating with its end pretty straight, steeply sloped and a few other wavelengths here. Um, the, uh, the vibrational modes of a drum, similarly, um, you can have one big wavelength all the way across the drum. You can have one wavelength up and down, but one, uh, two wavelengths side to side. Or you can have this pattern, or uh, all radially symmetric stuff or a mix of radial and other waves. Uh, so all kinds of fun there. Uh, there's another page here that has uh, static pictures of those that are a little easier to look at in detail. So uh, we saw that. Um, uh, how are these related to power series? Well, some Bessel uh, functions are defined by a power series. So here's one. And that solves this differential equation, which is a bit more complicated than the one we tried earlier. And uh, in some Calc 2 classes, it's actually a homework problem to show that this solves that. And I thought, okay, there's so much uh, numeric work there going on with derivatives and then multiplying by x or x squared, which changes the coefficients on the x to the one term and so forth. It's actually kind of nice to lay it out on a spreadsheet. Lay it out on a spreadsheet. So um, here's the way you would solve something like that if this were a homework problem. I think it might be an optional homework problem. Um, so all kinds of interesting things that people used to do by hand before they had spreadsheets. But you can see in the end, if you add up all those terms here, you should get 0 plus 0x plus 0x squared plus 0x cubed. And this is that final sum here, and you're getting all zero coefficients. So that shows it worked. So yay vessel functions.